Hey, so uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks, I turned 70 years old. And somebody from Ontario, Richard, thank you very much for sending. Let me show you. <laughs> let me show you what I got. <laughs> hey, this is so cool. Look. I mean, perfect. That's like my catchword. I love it. Thank you very much, Richard. That was just special. Totally caught me by surprise. Really appreciate it. Welcome to part four of building a garage. So today I'm going to sheathe. I've already cut some of these, this sheathing. So we're going to sheathe that all the way around. One interesting thing you can do with such a tiny building is actually uh, put it up on edge and you can work and when you glue it it won't move so I'll probably put it down here on the floor and work on it that way let's whoa whoa wrong side Let that dry for a minute. Uh, I'm going to work on making some siding rather than go and order it. I'm going to make the clapboards. I have this the saw set for a sixteenth of an inch. It'll be out of three quarter inch thick pine. So I'll make a bunch of these. Should be able to do it for quite a bit less. I think if we bought the clapboards, not even sure I found a good source. I probably would have spent. $75 for, to buy clapboards, plus have to wait. Somebody mentioned the uh, supply chain. I would have had to wait to get them in. So I'm just going to rip these out, be super careful. We'll see how this goes. I'll get a count on these and figure up uh, exactly how much we need, but <laughs> it's a little sawdusty. Enough for 120 or so full length clapboards. I think that'll be plenty. I'm going to space them so that it's, the effect is an eight inch reveal. So it's about a half an inch exposed actual size. I didn't want to, you could have gone four inch, but besides driving me crazy doing it, I, I thought it would look too, too busy. So I'm going to go with eight inch. We're getting to the point, we've got to figure out a color scheme. I think it's time to ask my wife and my daughter because colors are not my thing. So I'll check in and see what we're going to do for that. I think this is dry, so uh, I'll turn and do another, uh, another wall. All right, time to put on the front sheathing. I've got these pieces all cut to go on there. We'll hot glue that baby on. I don't know why it's a baby. Woohoo! Woo! All right. Wow, we're getting up there. Almost getting time for house wrap. I think we'll 
cut out cut out the doors and windows. I'll make it sound like a sawzall. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I cut this piece for up here. We'll glue that on. Okay, so by gluing that on, it gives this, the top, a stop. Something like that. So I'll clapboard up to that, we'll sheathe this, and I'll let w one clapboard come down over, so that'll tie it all in on the front, so that theoretically, we'll be able to just set it down, and it'll be right in place. And thanks for you folks for keeping me on task. Noticing there's no knee walls in there. I guess it's time to build the knee walls. So the knee wall length will be 17 and 3 8 on both sides. They'll be an equivalent of four feet high. That's typically what I do. So the 12 12 pitch coming up the roof for every four feet you come in, you go up four feet. Well, let's make them. You can see I've marked the little knee wall studs, two foot on center. Here's a challenge. Let's have, can you folks leave a comment as to what I just did wrong? I'm not gonna say what it is. Let's see if you can figure it out. This worked pretty good. I used uh, regular wood glue on most of them. About every fourth one I did hot glue. So it allowed it to, to uh, bond quickly and it's holding it in place. This wall is shorter because it's over by the stairwell. Both walls are made. Be one there. That's going to be fun trying to glue that in there. And there. Let's take a look over there. That's pretty cool. You can see down in the base, downstairs. <laughs> Feeling like the Jolly Green Giant. Wow. Okay. So we'll put this knee wall up by the stairwell. Hot glue gun. Just going to glue the bottom 
And then I'll tack in the top once it's in place. In theory. Woo, nice. Nice and flush there. Okay, the other side. That looks very nice. Perfect, in fact. <laughs> so the knee walls I leave short on each end so that we can close in the gable end. And we left it short here because of the stairwell. Going to glue the piece on across here. Leaving the upper part free so we can remove it. <laughs> I don't color inside the lines very well. I went to the mini lumber yard and got some house wrap. <laughs> Actually, I just took some house wrap, cut it to fit. So let's put this on. I'm going to put the house wrap on exactly as I do it on the job site. It comes usually taped. I usually start here and then wrap all the way around. This makes a good, good starting point. We're going to use glue just to get started. Let that harden a bit. Not sure what I can grab here. <laughs> uh oh, the writing's upside down. Okay. Oh, that actually goes on pretty good. Again, it's too bad I can't turn the real garages like this. Back around to the front. Hopefully I have enough to go all the way across. Let's see. I do. Now that I've done that, I'll go and tack all the way around the bottom. And that would be all set. And then I'll cut out the doorways and the window. Going to close in the gable and the front. This is the front. Get that angle cut. Just like that. And we'll go up the rest of the way. So apparently I forgot a couple of steps. Sorry I didn't video it. Let's see. Finished sheathing this side, built the rakes, and put those on. We'll put the house wrap up here. Woo. You see a gap here. Unfortunately, I don't think I can, I can't figure out a way to do it realistically. It kind of has to stop here so that we can separate the two. Anyway, okay, I think, well, we'll cut out the window. Start, I'll start doing some trim work on the front here. 
Woohoo! Going to make the trim work now for the corners, the trim around the doorways, the uh, trim for the window. Two windows, I guess. Three windows. I'm not sure. Not sure if I'll do a window on the back side or not. And the the side man door. So I'm going to rip that out on the table saw. Again, it, it seems to work pretty well if I rip multiples at a time. Hearing and eye protection. Had to be pretty thick in order to get the, to work for the clapboards. I've been assembling the garage door openings. Have the side pieces done. I've got the top one cut. We'll glue that on there, then we can put it in as a unit. There's one. All right, I think we'll put them in. Oh, big, 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 big day, here we go. Let's see. Put some glue. Huh. Should have tried it, make sure it fits. Let's see. Oh, it does. Nice. Woohoo! Look at that. Oh, my head. That's beautiful. Time for corners. These corners will help lock it in from going left to right as well. And this little uh, kind of a sheathing front and back will help it just stop going this way. Need to do a window. Okay, I've made the window frame. Now I've got the two sides, we'll put that on. Two and a strong five sixteenths. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I haven't said that a lot. Very good. All right. Let's put a window in, huh? <laughs> I didn't try it. Make sure it fits. Oh boy. Let's go with positive thinking. Come on, get in there. Oh. Phew. Just put a little cross member in there to make it look like a double hung. 
just a, just a few things to finish up this video. 24 by 24 cape style. Earlier in the video, this will, this will actually tell me how many of you folks watch this video all the way to the end. What I said about, uh, I made a mistake. See if you could see what it was when I was doing the knee walls. So, well, come on closer here. On that side, the knee walls spacing is 16 inches on center. Over on this side, they're two foot on center. I got my scale incorrect over on this side. Hmm. Who'd have thought? Uh, I think there's probably going to be maybe three more videos on this. It's super labor intensive. I don't think I could ever sell these because uh, I'm going, I'd say right now, let's see, 12. I've got 15 or 16 hours into this right now. And I still have, I have to do the roofing, the, all the clapboards. Clapboard, clapboards. It has to be painted. Lauren's going to paint it, so that's kind of nice. And the garage doors. I think I can get it so that the garage doors go up, so that they're movable. Also, after this one, it seems like uh, you folks have enjoyed this type of build, especially since it's winter time and there's not much. I don't have any building going on uh, out on the job site. I'm going to do another one. Maybe you can guess the style that it's going to be. And I know I won't say anything more. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.